Okay, I think that I just discovered a secret entrance. Look at that. <laughs> well, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. And we are back, of course, in Sunkeland. And we do have a brand new update. Currently, we are on version 0.2.10. And there is a lot of new things that we do need to talk about. So first things, we do have the Dreadwall map has been remastered. The second one, it is a navigation bar has been added to the top of the screen. So as you may look at my screen on the top, we do have this navigation bar. And this is definitely something great because, uh, well, so far I did get lost uh, very, very often. And let's just say that navigating through the map, it's gonna be a lot much easier right now. The other things, the military backpack has been moved from a blueprint to a research table. Okay. This is something that we are gonna check out. Okay, so it does seem, uh, yes. As you may notice, uh, it is on fit. Oh my god. It is basically on tier 4. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is uh, not make any change for me because I do have this military backpack. But if you don't have it, there is no more on blueprints. So you do want to research on tier 4. It is quite a big change, so I must be honest. And we do have also, they added world creation option, death penalty. When turning off, items in the back part are not dropped upon that. The default settings, it is off. But this is something that we probably need to check because in my option, it was turned on. So, be careful about that. The other things that is uh, new, it is uh, basically enemy health is now increased with the number of player in the game. Reaching the maximum health increase limit after 4 players. I mean, um, I don't really play co-op or multiplayer, so it's nothing that uh, it is for me basically, but I don't think that this is the right way to increase difficulty in the game. I think that this is definitely not fair enough. Probably it will be better if uh, they increase the number of uh, bandits in that case. Uh, at least uh, for me this uh, definitely it's gonna be better, but Okay, currently it is what it is. I hope that they're gonna change because uh, definitely this is not fair for players who play a co-op mod in co-op or whatsoever. But yeah, anyway, uh, let's just check the next big changes in the game. And uh, this one, it is so... Uh, oh, this is very, very interesting and I do like it already. So, other trader. Now, you can drag the whole stack of items instead of uh, clicking one by one finally oh i had it waiting for this one for a very very long time oh finally something news then something great and there is of course a lot of bug fixes and some small changes but yeah anyway we are gonna check the dreadwell island we are gonna also check the traders the other things that i did notice already it is right over here, so basically you cannot uh, longer move the whole stack by holding down the shift key and uh, clicking my mouse. You can just kind of move uh, just uh, by dragging or double click. Okay, so again, if you do want to move the whole stacks from your backpack to your uh, basically from your backpack to your storage container or vice versa, you always need double click the whole stack. Okay. So this is how it does work right now. It does work the same also in the other way. It's not a big change, but this is probably a bug. I'm not really sure about that. Uh, the other things, yes, we're gonna change that trader. We're gonna move a couple of these stacks of core. Why not? We're gonna try to sell this out. First things, I am hungry again. Where do I have some food? Okay, let's couple few. All right. We have some bullets. Yes, I have some bullets. And of course, we are gonna check also Dreadwild Island. Even if, in my case, probably that island is gonna be without any enemies. Because obviously, I did clear that island already in the past. So it should be empty. But we are gonna see what we can get over there in the first place. Oh, so let's move to the trader. Uh, navigating right now, it is obviously a lot easier, as you may notice on the top of my screen. 
I can see that mark for the trader, so yeah, it's definitely Holbert Cheesy. And I just need to looking around, I can see all the islands around. This is uh, definitely one changes that I did wanted already in the past. This is so much better right now. Obviously, probably this bar, it should be a little bit smaller, uh, at least in my opinion. Anyway, let's try to make some trades. And uh, let's see this first big changes on... You interested in some goods? Yes, some goods. Finally, you can basically drag the entire stack of items. And you can also hold down a shift key and double click on the stacks and it's gonna transfer. Look at that, whole bunch faster. And let's see if I can do the same on the other way. I can drag the entire stack, no big problem. I can hold down a shift key and double click. And sh she does need more than that. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Quite a lot for her Carol, eh? I think that this was in the past a little bit more worth it. Maybe I am wrong. The other things they are kind of the same. But yeah, okay, let's just make a deal, why not? It's quite okay. Uh, we're gonna check uh, Dreadwell. We're gonna check uh, Dreadwell Island. So I'm presuming. Let's check them out. Where is the Dreadwell Island? Dreadwheel, Dreadwheel. On the other direction, if I'm looking over there, okay, I don't see right now. Because probably it is a little bit far away. But anyway, let's just drive over there. And I think some outpost. So probably I am moving on the right direction, I don't know. I'm not quite yet sure, definitely I do see something on this navigation bar, which is super fantastic. And yes, probably this in the front of me, it is New Dreadwild Island. And I can already see that we are gonna check next morning because it's getting dark already, so I don't really want to waste too much of time right now. Obviously the days are still way too short in my opinion. One second is basically one minute. Uh, definitely this is a big outpost. Holy moly. Oh yeah, definitely a big changes. Probably all this platform, they are kind of defenses platform. I'm presuming that there are bandits inside, uh, but obviously not in my case, because uh, we did clear this island outpost already in the past. So yeah, this is definitely quite a big changes. I must be honest, and I do like it a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Probably starting a new game right now, it's gonna be amazing at this base. I can already see that it's a lot harder to do in the first place. Uh, but just like I say, we are gonna check next morning because obviously it's getting dark. And I don't really want to exploring in the night. It's probably kind of better to wait. And the other things probably this time around, it is the last time that you're gonna see my base in that radio tower because obviously I cannot build on that radio tower island anymore. Basically, I cannot do nothing. And probably it's gonna take a while before developer is gonna change all the island, all the outpost. Even if I don't really know if they're gonna change every single outpost, but probably yes. So, until then, I cannot build nothing more on this island. Even if this island, it is technically my island, they are not from bandits anymore. If I do want to build something, I cannot build on this island. Even if I do have a flag down, so this is something that... Well... Something that developers still need to change and probably it's gonna take a while before developer is gonna 
finish this entire update, at least I presuming. So at this point basically I'm not really sure what should I do because basically I do like this design of the base. I did basically waste so much time to building this and now it's kinda I cannot do nothing more. Uh, which is obviously not okay. It is something that I'm gonna need to deal with it. Uh, but yeah. It is what it is. Early access. Of course. And I can see that it's gonna take a lot just to destroy entire base and build another base and obviously currently right now the only possibility are underwater, underwater and of course on the starter island. Everything else it is kinda off limit. Alright, let's try to explore this new Dreadwild Island design. I must say that so far, this, it does look really some challenging. I must say that this so far, it does seems like really, really very interesting. I presume that all this station underwater, there's gonna be some bandits inside. Defend this place, which does make probably this kind of hard to defeat this one in the first place. Obviously, I cannot really tear for sure, but I'm sure about that. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments if I do. If I am wrong, let me know just in the comments. I overall look, look at that. This is such an amazing design. So there are some scrap around basically. I think that all this they are kind of the same. I don't think that there is any kind of loot inside. Most likely they are kind of the same. And it is a great idea basically, yeah. Uh, but let's try to check from inside. Okay, I do see some changes already over here. This area it's kind of more or less a little bit different. What is explosive? Okay, explosive. Oh, it doesn't explode. I was thinking that it does explode, but apparently not. It does have some chemical substance, which is okay. Definitely there is a lot of changes when it comes to this new version of Thor's uh, police car. Some more bullets. So I wonder if, if there is some kind of secret entrance to this base. So far it seems one way to the top is right over here. Let's try to explore a little bit more. We do have another way to the top on this side. Which is okay. But I do want to check a little bit around before I go on the top if there is any other ways because you never know maybe there is some kind of secret entrance somewhere oh we do have another police car okay check this out more bullets just what I needed Oh, and oh. Okay, I think that I just discovered a secret entrance. Look at that. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I knew. I knew, I knew. It's gonna be something. Because this new design of the bases, they are kinda amazing compared to the old one. And you need to look around, really. And I presume that this is the way to go inside. Probably it's gonna be fantastic. Okay, let's try to find out how deep it is going. Okay, some ore on the entrance, which is okay. Okay, some military boxes. Okay, we do have a couple more ore. And of course there is a safe over here. I knew that should be one safe. Oh yes, just what I needed. 
course, of course, of course, a new blueprint that I didn't have so far. Okay, uh, let's put this on. Okay, finally. I'm not really 100% sure if this is even an entrance to our base. There is some gasoline. Definitely a lot of loot over here. Yes, there is an entrance. Take this out. Oh, he has. <laughs> This is probably the best entrance to this base. Probably the better one. And of course another safe on the top. And uh, look at that, I just have another blueprint for a helicopter. Which is, yeah, I can learn one. And yes, we do have two the same blueprint, which is fantastic, seriously. Okay, so definitely we are already full, so kinda... Yeah, let's just drop some loot. Why not? And just like I said before, uh, double click. It's gonna transfer every single stack from your inventory to your storage. Okay, double click. It's not working like in the past. So just gonna need double click on every single item, which is... I don't really prefer that way, but at least it is working still, somehow. Man, this place, it should be full of bandits. Man! Probably... If I need to guess... Because this update it is far away to be done. It's kinda better to wait until a developer will redesign every single outpost or at least what they have in mind and after kind of start over because otherwise well uh, you will gonna lose a lot of surprise and what is these things okay Okay, for a second I was already thinking this is some kind of trap, but apparently, no, it's not a trap, it is for you. And I am damn hungry, which is obviously not great, I need some food. Something blocked over there, a whole bunch of blood everywhere. Oh my god, what just happened over here? Uh, do we have some food over here? No. I desperately needed some food. Nothing. Please give me some food somewhere. Oh, another police car. Okay. Some food, some food, some food. No food at all. Which is... Not okay at all. There's one more police car over here. And we are slowly dying, which is, uh, uh, yeah, really super. Oh, Jesus, I'm looking for food. Why in the first place I did exit my base without any food? So they are kind of the same room, all this room kind of the same. Sometimes you can get some food inside over here, right now, no. Why? Maybe some food? Of course not. Of course not. Uh, the other things that I did notice already... The FPS. Okay? Once playing, it will drop. And it's, it is dropping all the time. I mean, currently I'm still kind of semi-okay, uh, but it's getting uh, lower and lower, which is definitely not something that I do wanted. And I did check Steam page 
already early and it did say a lot of players they have this kind of problem and FPS it will drop to the one but will they now okay I can still play no big deal it did drop however already uh, what is here warehouse wait a minute warehouse warehouse okay is this maybe a treasure map or maybe something that uh, developer will add it in the future because I don't think that this is the same island no this is from the warehouse uh, this is probably from the we do have a warehouse if I do remember I'm yes warehouse it is right over here oh okay it's something that I need to remember Interesting. Anyway, anyway, what else I'm missing? Yes, I do need some drink. Hoping I can get some drink somewhere. No drink? Okay, scrap, boot, of course. Okay, uh, use one, okay, and use you. Okay. Okay, so they added this one. I don't know if it was in the past in the first place. Maybe yes. Maybe I'm wrong. And Jesus, we are full already, which is super, super fantastic. And we do have another save. Let's check inside. Maybe another blueprint. I'm hoping not the same. Oh, not the same. Okay, okay. I do need this one of pork for sure. Uh, so we're gonna drop that one. Let's check. Take this one. All right. To the best blueprint in one single place which is super fantastic i can take this out and the rest of you they're kinda okay for nothing and we still need to explore the other part of this entire outpost at least i thinking so maybe I don't know, this outpost they are just getting so big. I'm a little bit confused right now. It is definitely a lot of improvements uh, if you do compare this outpost to the last one. Uh, so where are the big window? Hmm, did I miss maybe this? Oh no, I didn't miss. What I did? Why I did jump? Okay. Why I did this error in the first place? So basically, we are almost on the top. Uh, maybe we can find some more safe. I'm not really sure about that. So we're gonna check around, definitely uh, there is a whole bunch of loot, as I may notice. Definitely too much loot for one single day. Uh, so this is our way to the top, the old way to the top. And probably this uh, upper level they are gonna be the same. Just one. Just it was in the past. Uh, I can already see. Oh yes, this is um, the new machinery blueprint. Oh, uh, which is uh, still something that I don't really know how this is. It is even work in the first place. 
There are a lot of things that I already know. We do have arrow. That's mean. Here is where you're gonna find a boss fight. I'm sure about that. Because it is the same on School Island. Basically, okay, we are full or we do have one military boxes inside. Come on, can I move inside? Yes. Check this out. I do have already these blueprints, probably I can, uh, I don't know what to do, okay, move this one, drop this one, do have one pillow, and basically we are full which is not so great, obviously there is a whole bunch of loot everywhere, it's probably a lot of loot, uh, you can already see that I kind of Living behind. There is one more of these red boxes. And here is definitely the area where you will find a big boss. I presume. I presume that this is such a hard to fight. But the things it is pretty damn simple. FPS it is dropping, dropping and dropping. I am currently at 25. Uh, I don't know. Oh, look at that, two military boxes. Another police car. Holy crap. Okay, uh, let's check this out really quickly. Okay, I know something definitely we're gonna we're gonna eat this one. We're gonna I don't think that I do have this blueprint in the first place. Yes, I do have already. Uh, this is something that I hope in developer it's gonna change in the future. Because I want to know which blueprint I do have already. Which currently you kinda don't really know. And I don't know. Just isn't really working in the first place. I'm basically full. We're gonna drop this one, probably take this one. It is damn dark already, which is super fantastic. Seriously. Oh, damn it. I'm leaving so much stuff behind. No, I'm not sure if FPS is dropping only on this uh, new Dreadwild designed island, so we're gonna check it out, so we're gonna jump back to the base and I will see really quickly because I am currently already on 20. Alright guys, so I am back at the base and the FPS is just dropping and dropping and I am already below 20 and it's going down and down so my suggest it is simple do not install this update right now wait for some fixes because currently it seems like that there is one, one bug and this bug it's gonna cause your FPS to drop and the way I see I did check the on the steam FPS it's gonna drop to the one so that means you cannot really play anymore I can barely move around right now. I still have 18 currently. After... Yeah, let's just say after one day in the game. But it is dropping all the time, so definitely it's not playable currently. So I would just kinda suggest to wait until this is get fixed. Overall the update, it does have some potential. And I do see some improvements, but this bugs it is just overkilling, so it's not really playable currently. So just kind of wait until this is get fixed. Uh, that being said, we are gonna end that here for this time around. So if you like what you see, smash the like button, leave us a comments below, and subscribe to the channel if you like. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye, and bis bald.